I lost blood every time he squeezed. I took in smoke every time I breathed. I wonder now how I even stayed awake. Fortunately, a miracle happened and my feet touched back down. I didn't think. I ran for the box and into the fire. I ground my arms up to block the flames. The increasingly tangled curtain made great protection. I was amazed how the pure black cloth just drank the light. A couple shots rang out, so I hit the floor. Something rolled up in front of me. One of the imps still latched onto him. No wonder he let me go, blood suckers. I circled around the back, hoping he'd ignore me. Since I had the box, he'd come for me. I was almost right. The creep had Nick. He had to be saved, at whatever cost. We crashed and crushed a pile of wooden crates. A handgun in one of the crates revealed itself to me. For a moment, I felt stronger, almost defiant, until two more shots went out. I stood broken, deflated. I gave in to defeat. I surrendered to my grief. Like magic, the curtain came alive. I think that spooked the beast. I slowed my eyes and I saw every bullet coming right for me. Like liquid, the curtain absorbed the shots. It turned their wakes into bright shafts of light and sent the bullets back. That time it was the beast's turn to fall. I didn't notice it, but that's when Nick came to. I was absorbed. I didn't know he was standing. Reality was an echo underwater and I didn't hear him calling. All I heard was the shot. A shot that wasn't meant for me. No box, no Nick, no sleep. This kid will never be.